and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video again today. We got the market to talk about because specifically we have Series 4 coming tomorrow. And I think that will impact certain things in certain ways tomorrow that you guys probably on top of. One specific thing I gotta go over is going to be the Series 4 match that will be coming tomorrow because... Sometimes the best way to make coins might be blitz running for that series four master. I've seen it done before. I've seen people do it. People make millions of coins when they blitz and take a full on head approach for that master. So that's something to look at. I'll show you guys what I mean by that in just a second. But guys, before we get into the market video, we go over everything that has come out and pretty much what I want to, what I think you should be doing for series four tomorrow prior to it actually coming out is going to be the 25 days of food miss boys i will be announcing the winner at some point today in one of these videos stay tuned to watch all the videos probably the 10 30 heavyweight videos so make sure you pop out to that now all you gotta do to enter the giveaways are subscribe to the channel comment down below your console in the secret word and like the video once you do those three things you are entered to win the giveaway i have contacted i believe it was gavin and creighton dunbar those two guys i hit them up already we already got the coin settled i paid off everyone so far in that order now we're gonna just go over today's and so on and so forth keep it going the rewards obviously will advance as we get closer to christmas or as we actually get to the zero trail promo which is taking a really long time to get into but let's get into the market so first things first like i said series four will be dropping tomorrow now to cover what i want to talk about i am am i on my team yes i'm cam on the red account so coming over to competitive currency see right here the series three competitive master auction bull goes for two thousand trophies when this thing first came out this thing went for over a million coins so just one thing i want to get out there is that if you guys happen to have some trophies right now, I'd recommend maybe you save them. If you guys think you have a chance of getting the series through competitive mass, like you're a guy who wins the Super Bowl every single day, you're one of those. If like if I have a seven, let's say I had like a thousand trophies, you could save them because you'll get half back at 500. That'll give you a, like a little boost. And if you play se season competitively for like four or five days straight, you could probably get to 2,000 trophies. And if you get that right away, in the series four mass specifically, it's probably like a 95, 96 overall. If they make him good, like I said, how it was like Bob Miller, how much we wanted him. If they make it good, you could probably sell that card for over a million coins the first week. So if you want to wait to make a million coins in a week, I highly recommend you get that done as quickly as possible. And it's not as hard as you guys would think, right? Because if you do, if you, let's say you have a thousand right now, and you save that 500 that you have, you're going to have half back, you're going to have 500. If you go do the objectives of the 200 wins and you play seasons all day, every day, straight, or we get a nice house runs that helps with that, you could easily knock out about 500 to 1,000 trophies from just that. And on top of that, if you play some weekend league plus some pro wins, you could easily get to that. But that's if you have the time. See me with videos and school and everything, I really don't, and I don't understand adults and parents and everything, it's kind of hard. But if you're one of those guys who either don't have work or you're out or you're out off of school, or you're somewhere in between you just finished school and you're, you don't have a job yet, you, can, you have that kind of time, or you're a competitive Madden player, I'm telling you, you could knock that out quickly. That's easily a million coins off the bat. I'd, I'd recommend if you can get that done within the first week, do that over John Madden because a million coins is definitely worth it over a John Madden collectible. Now, me personally, I'm going for the Cup Madden collectible, but I'm just letting you guys know. Pretty great way to make coins there. Now, let's head over to the auction block and start talking about everything. Guys, by the way, I do have a pack opening on deck for you guys. I'm saving it for the Zero Trip promo to finally drop because I want to pull an LTD. That's the goal. I've never pulled one before. I'm hoping that this is the... Uh, this is the time to do it. So starting the 88s, 89s. 80, 88s are going for 59k. I don't believe that. I believe they're a little cheaper than that. Let's get to flashbacks. We are on Wednesday, guys. If you don't know what Wednesday is on this channel, I call it Madden Limbo. That's Wednesday. Wednesday's like, we're past the market crash of the weekend, but we're too far before the next crash. And take a word for this video is Angel. Comment down below, Angel, your console. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. You're entered to win. Good luck, boys. Enjoy the rest of the video. There's nothing relevant on Wednesdays besides heavyweights. So in theory, pretty much everything's like a little bit above market value, but a little bit under, but it's just somewhere in between. It's never a good day to buy. It's typically a decent day to sell, in my opinion. Now, like I said, with Series 4 coming tomorrow, the market will be impacted. There will be better pack odds, as you guys do know. So remember that. Typically, with the new series, they do increase the pack odds, which will mean that more cars of higher overalls will be getting pulled out of packs. So the market should come down a little bit more in theory as well as new trophies to grind more people playing season more people playing weekend league more gauntlet more than likely more solo challenges more cards there's gonna be a ton of things coming out tomorrow not tomorrow i'm sorry the stream's tomorrow night by, by the way if i said that and your stream is tomorrow night so it'll be coming out friday morning because the stream yeah the best stream tomorrow night at th thursday night around like probably 7 8 p.m so make sure you stay tuned for that but like I said, a lot of things will be coming out, so that should impact the game just a little bit. But I typically like the new Series 4, or like any Series update, because it's kind of like, it's like a little steroid shot in Madden. You get some new cards, some new solos to play, some new levels to grind, and a new level up grind. And the new level up grind does come with 
usually above 300 to 300k to a million coins somewhere between there worth of rewards you get from leveling up plus you're gonna get a new power pass a new power pass should be 93 to 94 so what does that mean it more than likely means that 93 to 94 overall cards might come down in value a little bit because people are going to be able to power pass them so they'll be selling the ones they have and they won't be as valuable so remember this price should come down a little bit now 89 overalls are getting pretty pretty cheap guys if you want to if you want to like mark sound or base legend melbourne or one of those cards probably the time to do so quite honestly with how cheap they're becoming next on the list over to the oh no no that's not what i meant to click over to the 90s 91s let's see what we're working with here come on okay and we got the mario davis coming in first now remember today's heavyweight wednesday so you can expect that the heavyweights will come down a little bit in price today so if you ever want to get cheap training i always recommend checking the flashbacks heavyweights or veterans on their specific day or yet. like the days that they they come out always check them on the block when they do actually release in the packs as you can typically find them for a little bit of a undercut type price like flashbacks you can find them for like 10 to 15k cheaper every single tuesday and doesn't come out no no they come out on mondays i meant mondays so just stay tuned for all that now 90s guys about the only thing 90s are good for elite recently unless you're like more of a budgety team 90s have been good for like power passing and just like completing your, your power up change that's pretty much it i've, I've never checked calvin really before i forgot that these turkey trotters even existed not many of them were even that good none of them really ended up being that good at least at least marshall and Adamore got the 90 man but the zone's still very very low although the speed is great some decent cards within the 91s are such like jalen smith or patrick peterson or brian dawkins but again we don't really look at these anymore too much. Now, we do obviously have the Redux cards you can look at because they have come down to price. About the only Redux card that I'd be interested in this area would probably be Christian McCaffrey. And I told you guys why. When he was 100K, it's a good buy because I'm, I'm almost I'm almost certain, right? Christian McCaffrey has to get a card soon. He is putting up an historic season. They compared him to Chris Johnson's historic season. He was on pace at one point to break the all-time single, like, all-purpose yards record, which I don't think he's going to break. He's going to come close, but I don't think he's going to break it. He's having one of the one of the better seasons in history at running back. And he's putting the team on his back as much as he can. He can't do it all the time with the running back. And he only has a 90 overall Redux card that they gave him before he was going crazy. This was before he was going off. So imagine. Imagine. He was going, he was, this was before he was going off. So just think about that. He deserves a card for now that he is going. He's got a single team. Yeah, they haven't given him a team of the week, which says a lot. For, for McCaffrey to not have a team of the week yet, all that tells you is that they're saving for something. He better be getting some crazy zero chill LTD card. Although I hope it's not LTD, it probably will be. But if you guys plan to get a McCaffrey when it does come out, you probably want to get that card to power him up. Or you could use your power pass because he's a 90 overall, which many of us do have power passes ready for that. That's entirely on you guys. Now coming on over to the 92s and 93s. Again, the Redux market. Oh, and Redux is also getting introduced into packs tomorrow. We're going to have all the Blitz cards as Redux cards. I believe we're going to get a lot of new cards as LTDs as Redux. So remember, a lot of cards will come down to value. I honestly think, I, I think that a lot, a lot, a lot of Blitz cards will be coming down in price significantly. Such as guys like Lane Johnson. Lane Johnson was just 240s too, so people are probably prepping for that. Lane Johnson will probably come down quite a bit considering the fact that he is a Redux card. He should be a Redux card. And... Think about it. Redux cards always mean that they'll be cheaper than their actual cards. So if Lane Johnson's 206, his Redux card might even be like 185, 180, or maybe even cheaper. I don't. I mean, I don't know how much cheaper I can really get, but just stay tuned. Just be on top of that. A lot of Blitz cards are getting them, so don't anticipate that it's going to be a nice, easy thing to have for quite a while. Okay, I saw I saw first one free on Joe Hayden. I was kind of confused, but like I was saying, a lot of a lot of Blitz cards are getting Redux cards, such as even Lamar Jackson. So I was thinking maybe it's time I sell my Lamar Jackson. Because if he's going to get a Redux card, which I believe he is, let's see what he's going for. He's going for 607. Yeah, I did tell you guys in yesterday's video to probably sell him. So you probably, you probably took my advice on that. But I could have sold him for like 680, made back some points. Because I think he's going to come down to probably like 500k. More than likely, right? He has to. Considering the state of how Reduxes typically work. Kind of upsetting. But it is what it is. So hopefully you guys don't hold on to many Blitz players. I do want Will Lutz. I came down quite a bit. He has he has the best kick power in the game. I think he even is better than Adam Vinatieri from kick power. So I might, I might pick up that Will Lutz at some point. All depends on where that Justin Tucker is at price-wise. Now it's coming over to the 94-95s. So what I was saying here was that Michael Irvin and Nitro Lane. I, Nitro Lane actually held value only for one reason. Because all the NFL 100 cornerbacks actually didn't beat him by that much. Deion Sanders didn't affect him because everyone had Deion already, right? Now, what you want... Now, Deion's like the athletic corner. Nitro Lane's the athletic physical corner. So you need, you need one of each, right? That's typically how Madden is. So to replace Nitro Lane, you're going to need a tall physical corner with hip power. That was either Willie Brown or Rod Woodson. And I honestly think Nitro Lane stacked up well enough against both of them that he was not dropped in value. Now, Michael Irvin 
there's just been no receivers yet. When the wide receiver 100 drop, they will kill him. So I'm going to be a Randy Moss, it might be a Jerry Rice, it might be a Steve Large, and any of those guys, I'm telling you, they're going to kill Michael Irvin's price more than likely, which is going to suck for all you Michael Irvin owners, such as myself. And yeah, but yeah, Will Lutz is a better kick power than Vinatieri, which is kind of why I want him. Now, the running backs have come up quite a bit, unless I'm just not being filtered out properly. But that is because there will be no better running backs in them for quite a while. But when there is, they should come back down. Yeah, Eric Dixon's in like the 800k range. That's ridiculous. I do still have to pick up Lawrence Taylor. But here's the issue. By the way, guys, Deb McCourty's still going for like 600k. So that's just showing you kind of how long those guys retain value for. So I recommend you take a full blitz effect. If you don't make videos, you don't work. And you just have school or you got time i recommend you just do straight that because that is the best way to make coins more than likely you could probably make easily a million to two million coins in just the first week of the series if you get it done trophies aren't that hard to get it just requires time and straight playing head-to-head -head or seasons or weekend league it doesn't really matter or so you can do all if you do solo battles you do your weekend league and you do all your seasons and you just keep playing seasons while you wait for your rewards you probably get it done all in a week but anyways back to what i was saying the best time to buy these are typically when the NFL 100 packs drop. I'd probably wait to Christmas at this point because I don't think these cards are coming down anytime soon. They're going to be pretty expensive for quite a while because nothing is going to top them. When they first come out, they come down because they're like fighting with each other and then they all settle out to who people like and like guys like Ronnie Law and Dion, they shouldn't stay because they're the best cards in their position in the game. They have no reason not to, guys. That is better for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think I covered up everything I want to talk about. Stay tuned for my other videos today. I got two more for you guys. But that is about it. Make sure to enter the giveaway. All you got to do is enter the secret code down below. Comment. The well, comment the secret code, comment the console, subscribe to the channel, and like the video. Once you do those four things, you earned it to win. Good luck. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.